Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to fix this warning message uh, during the in ASP.NET Core. So uh, that is the error that is a possible null reference written. That is the error. And if you got just go for the uh, written types and just uh, press the hit button and you will you will see that it's not uh, it's not a solution right there. Okay. So how to fix uh, that types of warning message? Uh, context is not null here. Possible null reference written. The error, uh, the warning is possible null reference written. How to resolve this problem? Because this problem is due to uh, this the, that type of settings uh, have in Visual Studio. So the first uh, result is uh, here we have student repositories. So just open it. And you just nullable type so just if you want to remove this control x then you can see that your problem will be resolved departments controller uh, departments repo and your problem will be resolved but it's not a solution it's a, not a right solution okay so uh, just go for the again student repositories and just control z and save this and you got that type of repositories message and you again you will get a warning message after apply the nullable type things in the uh, in a target framework with the target framework so just i i want to remove this types of warning message so just you can make the written type that is nullable right there okay so after using the question mark in the task taskable type of model dot departments you will get a warning message underline the green squiggly line just under your get by id so in the const in the um, in the uh, interface you just check it where your department is not nullable right there so just make it nullable first and you will notice that your problem will be resolved in the department repo here we have but uh, remember that uh, how to send that is means if if you have that written null that types of things i mean to say that department is maybe nullable okay so by using the question mark you will resolve your problem your possibly null reference errors warning error message you can remove it so that that is the best solution you can use it here okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all of the videos which is related to asp.net core